What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. So once again, we're back with even more news. I wasn't kidding when I was saying there was more news to come out on Global. So once again, I've made two other videos today. We've talked about the Treasure Map Sugo Fest uh, and we've talked about the new limited rare recruit uh, event that's coming out, which is wild, having two brand new limited rare recruits at the same time. Uh, but this is talking about a brand new Super Evolution that's arriving on Global, a long-awaited Super Evolution, mind you. So we can go ahead and have a look here. Now, I have time-traveled, of course. Uh, I've time-traveled to, I believe it was the 18th or 19th of September. Whenever the, tre whenever the treasure map goes live is when you'll be able to Super Evolve this character. So we can see here that we have Doflamingo finally will be able to super evolve now you can see that the materials needed to super evolve the character are specific super evolution skills that are only available inside the treasure map itself so treasure map doflamingo is where you can get the doflamingo skulls to super evolve legend doflamingo now i believe it should be the exact same as last time with cavendish where i believe you needed 1.5 million points in order to get all of the skulls in total so once you reach 1.5 million points you'll be able to get those skulls and then super evolve the character I believe that both the unevolved and the 6 plus version of Dofi will both be boosted in the treasure map. That would make a lot of sense. Uh, and there was something else I was going to say. But anyways, let's actually talk about the character himself with Doflamingo. So here we have Doflamingo. Artwork looks crazy good. I love the artwork. One of the seven warlords of the sea, current king of Dressrosa. Amazing. So uh, with the 6 plus Doflamingo, he actually changes both classes and color. So now he's no longer a quick character, he's now an int character, and he's no longer driven cerebral, he's a driven slasher. Now, not only do those change, but both his captain ability and his special ability did get slight changes. Uh, also, one other thing that you can notice right here is he actually gains an additional socket spot. So this only happens through his super evolution. Weirdly enough, with his limit break, they didn't add an additional socket. They only added it when he limit breaks was super duper odd right because you can go ahead and check him right here he doesn't have an extra socket he gains it literally after super evolving right here so with uh, legend doflamingo with his six plus his captain ability will boost driven characters attack by 3.5 times and will also boost their hp by 1.2 times and make psi and int orbs beneficial for driven characters so for those of you who remember the original doflamingo captain ability it was every time you hit a perfect, your driven characters will get three times attack. But as soon as you miss the perfect, you get no attack boost whatsoever. So I like that they've changed it here. They've made it literally a 3.5 flat boost, which is pretty significant, honestly. That's a humongous boost. Lots of legends are around a 3.5 multiply these days. So this is a very, very good captain to use if you lack some of those more recent driven captains like Bato and Cavendish or V2 Doflamingo. V1 Doflamingo is a very, very good replacement for those guys as a captain. Uh, the 1.2 times health boost is also very significant as well. And the additional matching orbs is so good. Psy and Int beneficial all the time is ridiculous, right? So good. You can actually partner this up, right? So you can have, you know, this guy as your captain with a friend Bato Cavendish. And then once Bato Cavendish combine into their dual unit, you'll have Strength Dex Quick. And then this guy with Psy and Int beneficial. Recovery in tandem will be beneficial via Sailor abilities or something like that. And then boom, you're ready to go. You have all your matching orbs that you really need. So that is actually a pretty good way to go about it if you do lack some of those more powerful driven captains in terms of his special ability his special ability did also get a slight change as well now there's been a lot of feud over his special ability uh, alteration from his original version some people really really dislike the way that they dealt with his special but let me give you guys the rundown. So, it will change adjacent slots to the character's own type, which is the same, and also will boost driven character slot effects by 2.25 for one turn. So, they really haven't changed all that much. Number one, they made it a driven orb boost only compared to a universal orb boost, and they did buff the stat. So, no longer a 2 times orb boost, it is a 2.25 times orb boost. So, this is where a lot of people are arguing about the character as to why they don't like the character special that much. I can definitely agree to a certain degree because... I personally don't mind that he's driven only because in a lot of circumstances, a lot of other units in the game or a lot of other teams in the game have their own dedicated orb booster. There aren't too many situations where you would even want to try and put this guy in another team anyway. So I don't really care about that. I like the fact that he's only for driven. And, you know, because he is only for driven, that's the reason why they buffed his multiplier to 2.25. What I personally don't like 
is the orb manipulation. I would have preferred it if it was maybe a full board orb manipulation or at least get rid of block orbs. So, or maybe like change adjacent his own orb and block orbs into matching or do something similar to what uh, V1 Sanji does with his special because I know he gives adjacent and, and I think it's his own orb is matching and I think maybe changes block or tandem into match. I don't remember exactly how it worked, uh, but v1 sanji had a very nice orb manipulation you could get a pretty good amount of orbs from it and i would have preferred it if it was something similar to that because he is still only adjacent orbs beneficial which it's it's okay i mean if you're using him as a captain it's not really that good because you only get two matching orbs out of it as a sub it's still usable because you can still get three matching orbs out of it so you know that's the that's the thing that i don't like about it i'm not a big fan of the orb manipulation some people don't like the fact that he's driven only i think people need to get over it because as i said like nearly every other class in the game has their own dedicated orb booster and there isn't really a circumstance where you'd want to put an unboosted character in a team anymore it just really doesn't make a lot of sense um so yeah overall he seems really really good now the thing about doflamingo is as well is his sailor abilities don't change which is quite odd right because as a crewmate when it says he has a quick orb will be carried over to the next turn if he hits a perfect and he also will make quick orbs beneficial for your driven team which is really really nice right now a lot of people expected that when he got his super evolution that that would also be changed now unfortunately we can't check it here but yes it is confirmed that when he super evolves they actually don't change so he will still make quick orbs beneficial to your driven team and also if he has a quick orb and you hit a perfect you keep the quick orb for the next turn which is very very odd for an int character it's so weird to see it but you know six plus doflamingo it is what it is and obviously the artwork looks really really cool as well so there we go that's the full rundown of six plus doflamingo so once again you have to go ahead and get 1.5 million points in this upcoming treasure map in order to get up those skulls accumulate them for the super evolution of this character now people also ask you know should i keep an unevolved copy of doflamingo and should i keep you know one of each it's really up to you at the end of the day. Are you going to be using a, an original Doflamingo on separate teams? I mean, there are certain circumstances where you might want that, but I mean, even for cost restrictive content, you can keep an unevolved, like legitimately a five-star version of Doflamingo. That's still fine. But I don't really think there's too much need for a six-star version of Doflamingo anymore. You can still keep this guy as a six plus, in my personal opinion. Unless if you have a very, very low leveled account and you really need that universal orb booster on a lot of different teams, then at that point, I would say, okay, fair enough. But once you get your account, you know, stacked with a lot of characters, you have a lot of different teams available, you don't really need, a, you know, a dedicated universal orb booster for varying teams. And that's just my personal opinion anyways, but it is what it is. Now, remember, if you do unfortunately miss out on farming the skulls in the treasure map, uh, they actually have updated it now where you can go into the, um, the treasure map shop and you can purchase the Super Evolution skulls for Cavendish's Super Evolution. Uh, I don't remember how much it costs. I think it was maybe 2,000 points per skull. Uh, I think I think it was 2,000 points per skull, so 10,000 uh, tickets, 10,000 tickets uh, for the total super evolution of the character. So if you do miss this treasure map, uh, you really shouldn't, but if you do, um, you'll just have to wait, I think, a month or two, and then they'll add it to the shop uh, for, for, for purchase. So definitely do that if you do end up missing this treasure map. But uh, that's about it. That's all the information I really wanted to give to you guys. Actually, something else that we could show you guys really quick, just to further show how much information was actually put in here uh, in this particular uh, data download is that we can actually go to the unlockable quests and the host ship is back as well. So for those of you out there who didn't end up picking up this ship upon its initial release, you have another opportunity to go ahead and do that. For those of you who don't know what this ship does, it is honestly my favorite ship in the game uh, at this current point in time. I use it for nearly every team. It gives you 1.5 times attack. It gives you 1.75 times EXP, and it reduces your cooldowns by one at the start of the fight. Honestly, it's my favorite ship in the game right now, and uh, the special ability is pretty decent as well. I actually used it for a couple of different quests, but it gives you 3,500 HP recovery for two turns as well. So just having a ship available like that is ridiculous you need to get this ship especially if you are a player that you know relies on leveling up or you want to level up as much as you possibly can you should definitely pick up this ship if you have you know the opportunity to do so i know it costs 30 rainbow gems which is quite steep for a lot of players but I think that spending 30 gems on a ship like this is way more valuable than spending 30 gems for a discounted multi on a Sugo Fest. That's my personal opinion anyways. Um, if you have this ship available here and you haven't bought it yet, definitely purchase it. Same goes for the Zunisha ship. I would probably suggest purchasing that one as well. The German Double Six ship 
it's good, but again, you need very specific teams for it to be very, very good. And uh, the Megalo ship is just okay. I wouldn't suggest that one, but definitely the Ho ship and the Zunisha ship is what I would suggest. But that's all the data download information that we have for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed all these three videos that I pumped out for you guys. And if you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.